Okay, so I picked up two more Reviver Seeds. I deposited like the two plain seeds that I had in a chest of berry and I maybe something else. But most of the stuff that we had I kept and I really just, you know, withdrew the Reviver Seeds. Uh, when we play post-game, because hey, if you guys didn't listen when I first played Bidoof's Wish, yes, I am planning on playing the post-credits game, assuming it has some kind of solid ending, because I need again some point where I could be like, alright, this playthrough's done. Um, but yeah, I'll need to find more Reviver Seeds or buy a lot more from the Kecleon shop. I just don't have a lot anymore, like I only have one more in my bank I think, so kind of bad. But we're gonna move on now. Would you like to go on? Yes! We'll see what happens here. Boulder Quarry, Floor 1. Alright, well we found the stairs already, but again we're at the point where I would like first to see if we could find um, helpful items. Again, Reviver Seeds would be so helpful. So hopefully we can find those. If not, you know. Whatever, but I was hoping someone would move up to help me, but oh crap, I wasn't even facing the right way. Whatever, gonna jump kick again. Good. Okay, so since he didn't attack, I didn't actually like waste any I wasted one PP, that's all that all the negative that happened from that. Thankfully having two fighting types here, um, steel type Pokemon or rock type or whatever, they shouldn't be too difficult as long as we can land our moves. And if I select Manicham to like only use uh, Force Palm, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. But right here already, just like three layer on. Four layer on? Okay, cool. I'm just getting more experience, which I'm fine with again. I want to check because I forgot already what I was at. Was I at like 8,000? Okay, well now I'm at 4,000, so regardless of what I was at before, now I'm at 4,000. We're nearing a level up. At some point, you know. And since you don't have any Reviver Seeds, I'm just going to move on. Or like, any chance even for a Reviver Seed. I feel like this place just hardly has any rooms, it's just like all winding pathways to like, lead me off the right track. I don't know if I want to try to fight that, so I won't. I'm just gonna move on. I don't want to fight an Ampharos if I don't have to. It could be powerful is the thing. Laron's down. We're going to head left. And we found an escape orb and a quick orb. And an apple. Dang it, here's an Ampharos. Alright. Just gonna pound two of them. In. Oh! Wow! Okay, if I had known they would go down from a single pound, you bet I would have fought that one down there for 215 experience. That would have been great had I known. But alas, I did not know. You live and you learn kind of thing. Take this apple. We've got to be getting pretty full in our treasure bag at this point. Probably can't hold too much, but since we have a number of apples and little things we could probably get rid of, I don't think it's too terrible. Oh, I also think that the last thing that I banked that I didn't mention was the iron thorns I picked up. I think I had 24 of them, but thorns just don't seem to do a lot of damage in my opinion. Maybe I don't understand quite how they work. If their mechanics like they pierce high defenses or something, I don't know, but they seem to do little damage. But I will pick up the gravel rocks, because those seem to be at least a little more powerful, to the point where they could actually be useful in a fight if I really needed, like if I was desperate for a long range option. Um, moving up here. But honestly, if I needed to do something like that, I would probably just use like, while they're approaching me, I'd probably just instead use agility so I'm really ready for when they like, reach me. But, good to have options, I suppose. If I really need to get rid of something, Gravel Rocks are going to be one of the first things in my inventory to go because I don't need them. But, yeah. Metacham grew to level 33. Alright, leveled up! So, HP went up 2, attack went up 1, defense went up 1, special attack went up 1, special defense went up 1. Next will be Gardevoir, and then Low Punny as far as the leveling goes. Um, I will continue on on this floor a little bit longer just to see. Yeah, cool. Manac trick, or Manac trick, 415 points and I can still take it out with a single pound, that's awesome. If you didn't know, um, Manac trick is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon are pretty much all canines, if not like especially dogs. A uh, Blinker Seed, dang it, I was hopeful when I saw it was a seed. Um, like Manac trick, Houndoom, um, Growlithe, and uh, Poochyena. Specifically Poochyena and Growlithe, not necessarily Mighty and Arcanine. Largely because I had, um, I was in a roleplay where my character had those Pokemon. And I know I've said this before in previous videos, if you heard it before, I'm not trying to repeat it, but not everyone sees the same videos as you, so meh. Um, along with Vaporeon was really cool, I had that on my team. And um, Vulpix, I actually didn't have in that roleplay. Vulpix I just really like as a Pokemon, because, you know, I love foxes, my favorite animal. And Vulpix is just so cute. And um, while we're on that subject, people have asked me, oh, if you like Vulpix, what do you think about Fennekin? That's also a fox Pokemon. 
I do like Fennekin, but I like Vulpix a lot more. First, I like the art style of Vulpix more, like the eyes and just the art style in general. Fennekin is like, I know it's an anime Pokemon and everything, but it was like a little too anime. Again, I like it. I don't dislike Fennekin by any means, but uh, it just, it didn't appeal to me as much as Vulpix is. And I like Ninetales better than Delphox and... It was, it was breaks in first and then Delphox, right? Anyway, Gardevoir grew to level 35. Yeah, leveled up. So HP went up one, attack went up one, special attack went up one. Cool, and we passed over the Sea Trap Orb. Eh, I actually don't know if that's going to be too useful, because I can only use it on one floor, you know? Or on one, yeah, one floor. And I wouldn't really want to use it until I knew... Hey, you used my Orinberry? Oh, you're going to die. You little, ugh. Ugh. Orin berries. You know that I need those. Like, when I find an Orin berry, I'm like, oh yeah, it's definitely worth it. So how dare you take that away? Little Penny grew to level 34, by the way. I leveled up. Hee <laughs> hee, I like it. Good. HP went up one. Attack went up one. Defense went up two. Special attack went up one. Special defense went up two. Good. We are making progress. And here we found the stairs. I'll move on a little bit further. Just check this next room. Well, okay, I didn't think it would go this far. All right, after this um, Gliss or whatever, we're gonna move on. How are you not dead? I totally thought you'd be dead. Okay, now you're dead. Good, I'll take this apple. I mean, I might as well eat it. I was starting to get hungry, so yay. Ah, uh, not again. Die! Okay. Ah, go away. Okay, I'm gonna equip this fuchsia bow before I forget. Okay, there it is. Fisha Bow. Give to Low Bunny. Yeah, Gardevoir doesn't have anything yet. We just haven't found anything yet. And I didn't take anything from my storage. Didn't really cross my mind at the time. I might as well... Actually, what's my belly right now? 53 out of 100, so yeah, we might as well just eat this one again. And now we are at 100 out of 100. Totally worth it. It's as though we are new to the dungeon. No! Dang it. And then, of course, you know, Gardevoir has to step in the trap after me. Uh, oh well. Well, I don't, I don't want to use that because, again, the whole, like, flying type thing, that just wouldn't be good. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to use a Max Elixir here and just suck it up and use it. Because Pound is really the only move that I want to use against Gleesaur. Gliscor. I don't know how to say that. I've just been assuming Glissor, because, like, Scizor kind of stuff. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use Agility, because I don't trust myself. Oh, wait, you copied my ability? What did you copy? I don't know. What is my ability, anyway? I should probably look that up. Hello, Punny. Summary and ability is... Cute Charm mark or makes an attacker of the opposite gender who lands a direct hit or attack infatuated. Klutz prevents the Pokemon's held item from activating. Oh. Does that count for these passive items like the Fuchsia Bow? Maybe I should just play on the safe side and assume that that's the case and take the item and give it to Gardevoir. I'm gonna do that real quick. I mean, I don't know that that is the case, but just in case it is the case, give it to Gardevoir. There you go. Okay. Um, let's head down here. Will this burn actually? It does actually hurt me. Uh, okay, the Manic Trick gives like 400. I just want to... So I want to make sure that we do finish him off. I think I can quick heal though, even though I'm burned. I can. Like it does, it's worthwhile. I know someone just... Another Pokemon appeared in that... I used the Max Elixir! Ah! Ah! Of all the times, it's just like, it's always the next time. We've come pretty far. I think it's going to get more difficult from here on. Let's proceed with caution. Alright. Would you like to save your adventure? You bet I would, Kangaskhan statue. You bet I would. Alright, save completed. Let's move on up! And here we find... Yes! Okay, deep boulder quarry. Floor 1. And they're saying that it's going to get much more difficult. So you can bet that I'm feeling a little bit nervous because it was already fairly difficult. Hey, look, it's a nose. 
I want to remember its name. It's not Nose Pass because that's the first one. I don't remember. Probo Pass. I always forget that. Oh, why didn't I use Jump Kick? Let me not be paralyzed anymore. Okay, I'm gonna use Jump Kick now. Yeah, that did a lot more damage. Good, that's satisfying to see. Pound you. Good, you're dead. Thank you, Gardevoir, for the assistance there. I mean, plus side to the whole, you know, like, we just barely changed. Or, like, we used Max Elixir, and then, you know, all our PP was restored the next room. Uh, Gardevoir also lost her PP, and I didn't use a Max Elixir on her. So, it is good. I mean, it's definitely a good thing. I just kind of wish that I hadn't used the Max Elixir at all. Is this a Reviver Seed? Warp Seed. Dang it. What is this, though? Defense Scarf. I don't want that either. Alright, just gonna keep going. Yeah, no. I think, more or less, I am going to use the stairs as soon as I find them. Because, if you look... Okay, let's look at Medicham, who's going to be, you know, like, level up next. I still needs 8,000 experience. And, um... You know, I just don't want to use PP or Belly, risk wasting my Reviver Seeds, and I can't even, like, pick up any more items at this point. So I figure that things are just kind of too risky, I may as well play it a little bit safer and just move on when I can. Of course, you know, I will defeat Pokémon on the way, because if I happen to defeat enough where I can level up again, you know, that would be great to get those, the added stats, bonuses, and everything like that. Okay, agility was sealed. Hopefully not for long. I don't know how that works exactly. Okay, good. Please be Reviver Seed. Reviver Seed, it is! Oh, okay. What do I have that I want to switch? I want to switch something, I know that. I probably don't need all of these things. But what do I want to switch? Okay, I'll switch a scanner up, because, like, I haven't used any of those yet, so I might as well. I'm just gonna sort real quick. Okay. Let me eat this apple, too, while I'm here. I mean, just might as well not waste it. I do have 74 out of 100, so I don't really need it. But I'm not being harassed by enemies at the moment. It's there. Why not? Deep Boulder Quarry. Third floor. There's an orb. Is there anything we need? No, we have an escape orb. We do have an escape orb, right? I'm pretty sure we picked one up. Um, two escape orbs, as a matter of fact, so yeah, we don't need that. And you're dead. And what are- oh, I want you. I want you for sure. Okay. We don't need two! Okay, actually, we don't need two seed trap orbs, I don't think. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. What is that? I don't know what that symbol means exactly. Does it just mean that he has naturally, you know, levitates, so ground moves won't hit him? That's my best assumption. Doesn't matter, he's dead. Okay. Sorry, let me switch it. I didn't mean to move on, like, avoid that fight. It just kind of happened. Thank you, Gardevoir. Didn't want him to attack me. Could have been bad. Maybe not. But, you know, I would always be afraid of a critical hit or something like that. And again, since we found it, we might as well. Okay. Filled up fully. You bet it did. And another yes. Okay. We only need one escape orb at a time. We don't benefit from having two. Actually, this dude's asleep. Maybe we could get a sneak attack on him. Ah, I'm gonna try it, even though it's a ride on. No! Yeah, oh no! No! Ah! Okay. It's just like, it's so... This could be very bad. Okay, quick healing. Oh, shoot. Okay, um... Hey, you! I don't know how I want to do this. Are you really... Is he just not moving? Like, of all the moves you could use, you use Thunder Punch twice? Really? Okay, I just hope I don't miss, because if I do, I think I kill myself. Okay, good. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, leaving now. Okay, Rhydons are apparently very scary. 
Now I'm gonna quick heal now that we found the stairs. So we can just flee at a moment's notice. Actually, I think I can take you. Yeah, come here. I'll take you out for the quick experience, and then we'll fully heal. So, fully healing. I think everyone's good now. Okay. Ground, proceed. Fourth floor of the Deep Boulder Quarry. Um, I may as well take you on. Didn't work. Okay. Let's hope that I can heal as I walk, that we don't run into any enemies for a little bit. We have healed pretty well, actually, so far. Don't want to jinx anything, but it's looking more and more promising as time goes on. No! I'm slowed. I'm trying to make it so they don't step on it, too. Oh, uh, but we're fine. I'm gonna eat this apple. I, like, didn't even eat a pack of apples. I'm just, like, finding them enough along the way. Okay, Medicham is still with us now. Okay. Um, there you are. You can go in one pound, which is quite helpful, quite nice. And here we have the stairs with... What are you? It's a Rouseberry. Okay. For birds, I think? Well, jump kick! Didn't quite finish you. Nah! Okay, now you're gone. We don't actually need to quick heal at all. We're good to move on. Fifth floor of Deep Water Quarry. Um, I'll take you on. But he doesn't have the levitate thing. I was assuming it was just because of his natural ability, but... I don't know. Also, I'm glad it killed him, because I didn't want to receive, you know... Crap! Okay. Time to use an item. Fetch my orbs. Let's go, girls. We're just gonna go. I don't know how long Petrify Orbs last, but I am not gonna deal with that. One Rhydon was bad enough. Having to deal with a whole group of them among other Pokemon? Not gonna happen. I don't know if I wanna head up. No, that might just loop directly in with, uh, with the Monster House. Yes, I'm running away from the Monster House. How is that not obvious? Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna go! Sixth floor, and we found something new! Boulder Quarry Clearing. See, what this is called is using my brain. I avoided a big confrontation that I probably wouldn't have made it out of. Go me. Huh? Something about this place seems different somehow. So far, the path has been pretty straight without ever diverging. Maybe we got lost without realizing it. Oh no! Don't tell me we're lost! What do we do? We should just try to keep moving forward, right? Words. Before we entered, those other exploration teams told us about this, or told us about this. This is probably the complex labyrinth. So, rather than getting worried about being lost, think that this is a place where everyone gets lost, so it's only natural that you'll get lost. Wouldn't that help you relax? Not really. Sounds about right. I think this might be a detour. But eventually, we'll figure it out. I think. Anyway, let's keep going and see. Wait! You! Is it odd? You, where did you come from? This is my... How could you not know this is Agron's territory? Really? We didn't know. gra ha 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 You didn't know. If you didn't know, then allow me to teach you. What happens to those who trespass here? Come on out, Laron. Grow! It's Laron! Oh no, it's more Laron! <laughs> There's so many things! Oh, there he is. We show no mercy to those who invade our territory. That's the law of this land. Huh? We apologize that we wandered into your territory, but we didn't know. But regardless, don't you think it's a little unreasonable to attack us without listening to our reason? We haven't done anything to this place, and we don't intend to fight. But, if you're going to insist on fighting, then we have no choice. We'll be your opponents. Huh. You ladies are considerably cheerful. That's true, they are. However, that composure. How long can you keep it up? Let's go, Laron. Get them! 
Okay, grow. Please let me actually fight them. Please let me actually fight them. Metacham, Lopunny, here they come. Anytime. Okay, let's go. Okay, cool. I think we can- I think we can do this. I think we can do this! Okay, so first I'm gonna go to team. Okay, Metacham moves. I'm gonna just- I just want you to have Force Palm and I Jump Kick. I think I want to turn up both Fire Punch and Thunder Punch. I think Fire Punch could also be super effective, you know, but... I can't think right now if Laron and Aragon are only Steel, if they're also like Steel Ground, Steel Rock, so... I'm not gonna- I don't want to risk that at all. What are your moves? Um... Double team might be good here, just for once. I like for one turn, I mean. So I'm gonna switch everything off except double team, so use it your very first move. And I, at the very beginning, am going to use agility, so we all get something right off the bat. Okay. Now that that's done, moving forward. And jump kick! Okay, now that Gardevoir's done that, Come on, let me- okay, good. So now go to team, gonna switch to Gardevoir, and turn double team off. We're just gonna have Magical Leaf and Confuse- actually, I don't even know if I want Magical Leaf right now, because it's a grass type, and I don't think that's really good against Steel. It is a special attack, and it always hits, which is good. Let's see, what are you? Um... You know what, I think I actually will leave her with both of these. And I'll just... Do what I'm doing. Jump kick. Go. And Agron's defeated. Well, we should probably run down and help Gardevoir out. Be before before she, uh, she died. We're not to normal. Okay, yeah, we're not to normal speed yet. Good. But you didn't die from that? I am surprised. Just don't let her die again. Come on. I'm just waiting to see if we're, you know, gonna go back to normal speed anytime soon. I'll help you with this one real quick. Still not dead. Still not dead. These things are like stronger than the Agron was. Okay. Um, really quick, I wanna use an Orin Berry. On Gardevoir, because I'd rather that than have to use another Reviver Seed already. Okay, good. No, that's fine. You can take it. You're dead too. Return to normal speed. I assume we all do. So I'm going to use Agility again to give us that extra boost in battle. I'm going to run over here. No, attack you. Yeah. Jump kick! Just going to let Gardevoir finish off the weakened one, you know? I'm still surprised that... They've lasted that long, but hey. Accuracy fell slightly, which could actually be really bad for Jump Kick, which could hit me and I think would do 30 damage. So I'm gonna go down here. Come on, yeah, take him out for me. Take him out for me. In the meantime, hey, maybe I could make use of that Graveler Rock. It was for this kind of situation, right? So throw! Work. Come on, do it again. Well, I'll just... Hold on, actually, maybe I could take out this Laron. Nope. High Jump Kick does, like... It does more... More damage to Metacham than she actually has health. That's ridiculous. Okay, I... Yeah, I think I have to turn that off. That's ridiculous. I understand it'll do a lot of damage, but more than she has health? That's crazy. That's, I mean, it's stupid as a matter of fact. That's what it is. Wow. I didn't realize it was that effective anyway. Okay, finish him off. How many times do I have to hit you with that? Well, good. We did it. We took him out. Okay. Ugh. I can't tell if I'm in pain or whatever. Grow. Eek. I'm an Agron and I just said eek. R run. Run. RUN! Or dig! Oh no, we run, you dig! Heh, <laughs> I guess. They panicked and ran off. We're Team Charm, don't underestimate us. Well, at least we won't be held back anymore. Let's keep moving. 
until we find Team Odd. And Wigglytuff jumps in to help us fight them? Possibly. Or maybe we'll just run into Wigglytuff at the end and be like, here's your stuff back, I don't know. Somehow it seems like the scenery has changed slightly from before. Huh? What is it? Here. There's two entrances? Looks like the labyrinth continues. We probably have to choose the current or correct entrance to proceed. Yeah. But which one should we choose? Huh. Just looking at them, they seem to be the same. I think it's fine. Pick whichever one you like. Okay. Yeah. No sense in worrying about it. Well, okay, I mean, there's kind of a little bit of sense in worrying about it, because then we'd have to go through the whole thing again, but whatever. For now, go ahead and pick an entrance, and we'll find out if it's the right one. Okay. But first, I'm going to save. Would you like to save? Yes, I would. Okay. Cool. And I'm not gonna bother to bank, because, yeah, let's see if they have anything to say. I guess we'll have to pick an entrance and see. I think the one on the right is the correct path. No! Maybe they just want you to think that! Maybe it's really the one on the left! Uh, which one is it? Really? Hmm. Let's go left. It's the one nearer the Kangaskhan, I don't know. Enter the entrance on the left, yes. Left cave path, floor one. I should actually make sure that their moves are back to the way I want them. Actually, yeah, that's good for now. What about you, Metacham? I will turn these on. Not gonna turn on a high jump kick because that was ridiculous. That means if she misses, I use a reviver seed. Think about that. If a Pokemon misses their attack, I use a reviver seed. That doesn't seem worth it. Like, I don't know. Maybe if there was a move, like if I had Foresight or something, which I think makes it so you're guaranteed to land the next hit, right? Could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. If Metacham also had Foresight, then yeah, I would first use Foresight, and then I would use that on, again, like a big boss Pokemon, or someone that I really wanted to take out right then. But that's just not the case right now. We don't have that move. We don't have that luxury. I'll replace with the Quick Orb. And moving on, I think. <laughs> now I want to check again, like, what my experience is. 4,000. Maybe we can go a little bit longer in here. Just check out what's over this way, you know? And if this way is clear, then we'll just head back. Well, there's a Max Elixir, which I do want. So I will... Another Quick Orb, yeah. It's basically an agility, right? The Quick Orb, except it's an agility that I can't use in, like, boss rooms. Which makes it much worse. So yeah. Second floor. We have that, uh... I think that's a Chesto Berry, which I don't want. Mm, nothing in here. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Oh, look, it's you. Well, I'm gonna jump kick you. Okay. I'm gonna pound you. And I'm gonna gloat over my victory. Ha, I won. And this is an eye drop seed, not what we want. This is nothing. Well, I mean, it's a... It's a wonder tile, which could be good in some situations, just not in the situation I'm currently in. Oh look, yes! Metacham grew to level 34! Okay, so we have up two, or HP up one, up two, attack one up one, defense one up one, special attack one up one, special defense one up one. I am going to eat this apple before we move on. And pick up this poke. Sure, I'll take you out. Die. Okay, cool. I mean, again, it's that little bit more experience. Um, I'm pretty sure this one will end, like, at the earliest, the fifth floor. So I think that that's fine to spend a little bit more time here. Is this ground, or is that supposed to be, like, lava? Or water with ground? I'm, I'm gonna say it's just water with ground beneath it. Okay, and I got 415 from main act trick. That's so... That's a lot of experience for being able to defeat a Pokemon in one move. It's not even like Pound is a super strong move, it's just... Apparently, my neck trick is pretty weak to that sort of thing. Wonder if it's a higher special defense sort of issue. I don't know. Let's see though if I can actually hit you after you, yeah, double teamed twice. Okay, there we go. That wasn't too bad. I'm gonna eat this while it's here. That's basically just what I'm gonna do every time I find an apple when my inventory is full because that it just makes sense. Why would you waste it? You might as well take one turn to eat it so you're not gonna have to, you know, eat something later. 
like from your own inventory. That's what I figure. Uh, let's just head back this way, go up. I'm sorry, I'll take him out. Okay, you're gonna be fine. Where'd Medicham go? Medicham's still back there. I don't know what she's doing exactly. Oh, hey! She beat a main Ectric, apparently. Gardevoir go to level 36. So that's cool. HP went up one, attack went up one, defense went up one, special attack went up one, special defense went up one. All of the ones. Well, you know what? Thank you for that, Medicham. You've done us a service. And I was just gonna move on, but because, again, it's another main egg trick. And an Anthros, which, again, isn't bad. Gonna do that. Okay, I do wish, though, that you would actually appear when I'm standing here, or not at all. Okay, die. I'm just gonna wait here while I quick heal for Gardevoir. <laughs> okay, low penny grid level 35! Because Metacham's just going around beating people up! She's cool, why not? I don't know. He you coming? Relieving! I just saw Metacham drop to like, you know, 30 something health. I don't want to risk that. Now that we're all together again, yes, why not quick heal a little bit? Pound! And you guys, help me take it out. Okay, good. Quick healing again to get Metacham all the way up. Now we're good to move on. Taking no chances here. Taking just a few chances here. I can't say no chances. I've taken some chances throughout this, you know, even just this little, like, sub-dungeon. I will take this Graveler Rock, because it stacks, so why not? I used it during the Laren fight. Probably shouldn't have. But, you know, like, it just... 20 damage each time. At least it was consistent. But, gosh dang it, did it take forever to do, like, anything. I mean, basically, if I went up and pounded, I think twice, it would have done as much as I took, like, the five turns to throw Graveler Rocks at it. Take you out. Eh, eh, might as well take the Claydol out, but never mind, we're just gonna go. Claydol wanted none of this. And there are more stairs. Let's just do it. We're just leaving. Sixth floor, here we go. And there's something here. Oh, I can see a light coming from over there. I bet that's the exit. We did it! We made it through the cave! Okay, so it wasn't the left path. Wait, isn't this... Right, where we started. We... we were tricked! This isn't the right entrance. That entrance on the right must be the right one. But isn't it nice? Now we know the way. Now we know. Let's try the path to the right this time. Except, I want to see now how we're doing experience-wise, and if I think that one more could bring us over to the next level. If I think that two more could bring us over to the next level. Basically, I'm gonna save here, and I'm gonna go again to the left, just to beat up some Pokemon. Now that I know that, you know, like, it's six floors and then we're done, I'm just gonna try it again for the sake of some experience, and if I find cool items along the way, or in berries, Viper Seeds, that's awesome. Hey look! There's an Orenberry here. I will take it. Yeah, and I'll take this Orenberry. But because I know that it could be a little bit repetitive, I will skip ahead for you guys, so I'll see you soon. Kill outro, go!